Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We are here. I am Soniv. And I am Wave of Shadow. We're bringing you EA versus Google AHGL semifinals game two. We are already into picks and bans. Rumble Akali's in. Same stuff as last time. Same stuff. Yep. I'm wondering if we're going to see any targeted bans from last game. I'm not sure because there wasn't really any one specific champion that made it possible for EA. I don't think they did. They really just executed team fights really, really well. Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't... An Elise ban certainly wouldn't be unwarranted. Not at all. my opinion from Google, but I, I mean, I can't see EA banning out Aurelia, for example. So. Right. But we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, game two. EA did take out uh, game one. Uh, I'm, I'm hesitant to say decisive victory because, I mean, Google certainly did, you know, their very best and, you know, they had a fighting chance the entire time. It was certainly not one-sided. A very, very exciting game. If you can catch it on VODs, then definitely do so. Although I imagine most people probably aren't tuning in halfway through. <laughs> so they've probably already watched it and That's probably true. saw it for themselves. Yeah, they, I mean, it was like five minutes ago that we finished. So, <laughs> <laughs> But, yeah, we're just waiting on this next band from Google. Um... I'm wondering if we're going to see a similar team composition from, from EA, because it, it really did work for them. They did have a couple sloppy team fights, but when they were together, they were playing it really, really well. Oh, yep, there is the uh -huh, release there it is. Yep. Somebody's been ghosting me, <laughs> slash you. <laughs> slash they were in the last game and realized how good Elise was. No, really no, that's not why. <laughs> that didn't happen. <laughs> that's not why. The Kale ban and one more... Who, what were the other bands? Yorick, I think was a band last yeah, game. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why they banned Yorick. I just don't find him that strong. I really don't. Like, I mean, yeah, he's really, really annoying to play against, like infuriating, but I just, uh, you really have to rely on essentially someone to be pretty darn fed in a game, and he doesn't like, I, just, I don't know, I just, this may just be a personal thing. I just find him so weak in team fights. Aside from that alt, he's just an alt bot. I don't know. Yeah, I mean... Low, he... low opinions, what can I say? <laughs> no, I, I don't disagree. Um, he is good, he's just, yeah, you're, you're right, he is annoying in lane. Uh, but if he gets ahead, he just becomes so, like, suffocating uh, that, like, just a couple games for a jungler, and, and it's just, you can't be in lane against him anymore. Uh, and then it is about just pretty much choking your lane opponent out, so they're not good. Like, he's, Yorick isn't that good in team fights, but he's going to make his opponent just less good in team fights. <laughs> Zyra ban. That's not that surprising, to be honest. Zyra did play a huge part in EA's victory there. I, I spent that whole time you were talking trying to come up with a connection between choking, suffocating, and you know Yorick being a grave digger, but I, I couldn't, I couldn't come up with one. I let not, you down. I let you down. I'm sorry, bro. I'm not surprised that you were trying to. Okay, Tristana Bigglebones wanting to keep with Tristana. I mean, he did really play well with her. Uh, her late game really catered very, very well to his his positioning and his just sheer damage output. And that that's not surprising at all. Uh, yep. So I mean, now that. Zyra has been banned. We're not going to see that uh, Tristana Zyra bottom lane, and uh, I'm wondering instead what we are going to be seeing. Karma. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep you keep reaching for that rainbow. Uh, <laughs> Come on, Gassy, play Karma. Um, yeah, I, I'm thinking we may want to. No, we may see someone like Janna or Lulu being picked up by EA. They want someone that they can protect Tristana. Uh, or even like Nami. Nami is very, very good at protecting her carry. You don't really um, see Jenna all that often anymore. I really don't know why she's. Still Neither do I. Good. I mean, I guess maybe because she's probably a much higher skill cap champion than a lot of I don't know the Terex of the world. I would say because <laughs> I mean you know Terex point and click. There's not a great deal more to him. I mean obviously, you know there are clearly supports who do very, very well in Terex and better than others. But I mean you got to compare to someone who you have to get an alt off absolutely perfectly, which means life, which may or may not mean life and death for your team. you got to get a skill shot, disengage. You have to time your shields perfectly, as opposed to Tarek, where it's just, you know, stun, walk up to them, and shatter, you know, Explode. dazzle, whatever it is. Yeah, dazzle's the stun. No, dazzle's the stun. What's the alt called? Hmm. I don't remember. Lulu yeah, do Kate. Um, yeah, Google wanted to keep that Lulu. They, they do like playing that, yep. Uh... Yarius has we've seen Yarius play uh, Lulu a lot. Caitlyn again very strong lane champion. So, oh the Yorick, we're gonna see why they pick or why they ban Yorick. Huh. <laughs> well I yeah I was gonna say maybe maybe we're actually gonna see something about this. So Ravenite again gonna be taken by no reason for him not to did extremely well last game. Frozen Fire gonna be picking up Yorick this game, and uh, I mean I guess we're gonna see why he was banned in the first place. Frozen Fire don't let us down, buddy. Oh, Nerevar, they switched they switched sides. Oh sorry that's right. Come on. 
That's oh yeah, that's I, good only point. I Everything can do that. It can't be you too. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. I was like, I just assumed. I was like, I saw Vi, and I just sort of assumed. Oh, that's right. Raven, I not gonna be able to play Vi this game. Yeah, so Zyro huh. is gonna be on Vi, and Zyro does play Vi. So I mean, it's not it's not like he's just grabbing it away from Raven. It is it is going to be, uh, you know, a champion that Zyro does play, and I'm, I think I'm excited. Every... Every jungler worth their salt these days probably plays Vi. She's very strong. Probably. So. Clearly, I'm not worth my salt. You don't jungle. <laughs> Do you? No. Jungle karma. Make jungle it happen. karma has to happen. Make it happen. Um, so now, what do you think that Google is going to pick against Yorick Top? Joe? I don't know. What works? What, I, what does work against? There I was some know. rumor that, like, <laughs> there was some rumor that Trundle worked, I think. I've, yeah, I've heard that. I don't think yeah, I've, I've tried it, but I'm yeah. bad. But I don't think I don't think it works. No, I think Joe probably does. I mean, it turns into a farm fest, and I mean, I think late game. I feel like I'd rather have a farm Joe than a farm Yorick. I agree. So we'll see how that works out. Like, what else? Like, what do you play against a Yorick? I don't know. I I really just have no clue. Nasus. <laughs> um, Make it a complete uh, farm ooh, I yeah, but not. I feel like you'd have to run thirteen pots. As Nasus, otherwise, because it's just you know how do you, like you have to walk up and you know cue your minions. You have to you know focus on either farming or harassing. And every time you try to farm, you're going to get harassed. I don't I don't know if that's a particularly good pick, but um, not- mm. <gasps> oh mm. yes, Google, oh. we love you. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited right now. Oh man, all right. So Malphite obviously really No, I mean I mean no no caster bias. No, oh yeah. None. Yeah. No no caster bias. Whatsoever. Zach. Yes. Oh, <laughs> I love Zach. Oh, by the way, I just gotta say, if anyone has not played the April Fool's um the Chew game, what is it like Joe Gath eats the world? Yep. So go play fun. that game. Whoever like whatever riders were behind that, I guess Taco Storm, you're not watching the game anymore, but if you watch the the VOD after, really like congratulate the team that worked on that game. They did an absolute and the Timo game too. Absolutely fantastic job. So much fun to play. The flavor was amazing. I love the... I don't know. Can I... Spoiler alert. It's The day's no, almost over. No, no. Absolutely Have you not, not played it? No, I've played it, but don't, don't spoil it for really? all right. There's no. a, All right, let's put it this way. There is a final boss, and the boss fight is fun. Okay, let's put it that way. Is that is that, a, is that an accurate representation? I, I mean, it's accurate. It's <laughs> You're an idiot, but it's accurate. What? <laughs> <laughs> Um, so bot lane, Tristana's gonna need a support who really can protect her, and it's gonna be difficult against Lulu Kate. Lulu Kate is such an aggressive lane, and Caitlyn is so good against Tristana early on because of that rage advantage, and she can just really punish. So EA is really gonna have to do a lot of work to make sure that Tristana gets fed, and so that the Yorick ult can actually be useful on someone. Um, I'm really interested to see what Ravenite makes happen with Zach. This is essentially it seems like a gamble to me because he definitely hasn't been out long enough for anyone to really master him. There's no way. Like I mean you can be a dime you can be a challenger, you can be an LCS player. But he's only been out he's been on PBE for, you know, a couple weeks and he's been out for about a week. It's not long enough for anyone to fully master a champion. So this is essentially a gamble, I think. Google's basically saying, okay, Ravenite must be some halfway decent with Zach. Is a Zach game at a high level going to be something that EA hasn't really seen, and are they going to be able to throw them off with it? I, I mean, I'm thrown off right now. I don't, like, I don't know anything about Zach. I've, I was gone for the weekend, so I haven't even, I've seen him in one game so far. Okay, I I'll, you're gonna, yeah, I'll you're give gonna, you a hint. I'll give you a hint. He's a blob. I know that. He, I'll give you a hint. Um, wherever you think he's going to come from, <laughs> you're wrong. Okay. That jump range is absolutely it's ridiculous. ridiculous. It is I insane. Know. And now Lux and Sona being picked out. So uh, we actually are going to see a Sona Tristana lane. Also somewhat abusive. I mean, if played properly, but they're both a little bit squishy. Yeah, so. I don't actually like that. Just because Lulu Kate's going to be all over them early on. Unless um, Zyrul can really, you know, camp bot hard and get get a lot of presence there. It's, it's going to be difficult for... Uh, for both Bilgo Buns and Messiah to really make it out of that lane alive, I think. Yeah, so now we're just waiting on the mid pick now, right, from uh, from Google? Uh, and uh, yes. it's basically, who are they going to pick against Lux? And, um, I mean, maybe they'll try and turn around. Actually, I was going to say, yeah, the mid pick, that means Gasty's playing Lux? Yeah. That's uh, that's sort of an odd pick for Gasty, it would seem. Any mid worth his salt can play Lux. 
you don't don't steal from me. <laughs> don't steal my my idioms. <laughs> but <laughs> sorry. Yeah, you better be sorry. Um even like he does play a lot of assassins, but Lux really is one of those champions that you really should just know how to play. That's true. She's extremely strong right now. No excuses. <laughs> no, no excuses. No excuses, Sonov. You should be playing Lux. I can any. play Lux. Can you? I can. Oh, well, you can play any. And Karma. Uh, those are the fun champions. <laughs> Zed. Zed. Ooh. I've been meaning to relearn Zed, or replay rather, just because I really like his design. Um. I'm just bad at him, and I, I really think he's a great champion. He, we've seen him a lot in the LCS lately, um, both both mid and top, uh, and he just he does a lot of damage if you can get some items on him. It's deceptive. Like his yes. all in at six does a lot more damage than you'd expect. If you but you have to get the combo precisely right and get the amount of damage in because it only the uh, the death mark only procs off of as much damage as you've done in the time that it's on. So you have to really make sure you get all of the abilities off in the right order so you can maximize that damage. Right. Um, there are some really, really cool jukes you can pull with him with, uh, with both his W and his ultimate because of those shadows. Um, yep. Gives I, him I, that I, immunity for a second. Like, you know, he can drop turret aggro and stuff. Yeah, that too. Um, I, yeah, I'm looking forward to see... Uh, to see how KT Flash, because you know we do we do normally see KT Flash on like that Lux or that Zone Control uh, mid, and now we're seeing Gasty and KT Flash almost re roles reversing, sort of. You know what I'm not looking forward to? Messing up Zach and Zed. I'm oh, gonna no. do it. I'm gonna <laughs> do it. I'm, I apologize in advance, all of our many viewers right now, but I'm gonna screw it up, and I'm sorry. I just I I can't explain it. It's my old brain. I don't know. My brain is old. Anyway, so <laughs> just waiting on. You're old man. We got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm an old, old, old. Okay. All right. It looks as though we're ready to go. Going to get into the champion select screen. They're going to get all those picks and bans done, and uh, really excited to see where this game two goes. Really, really excited. This is going to be a crazy game. Yep. Yep. I'm. Mm -hmm. I just. I'm so. I, I want to see one of those. If you haven't seen the video, I think they've been up on you know once again Reddit. But the the Zach flybys. I haven't. I haven't really looked. You can jump over the barren pit, and you get vision of it. So, oh. like, you can literally jump past baron or dragon over the back side of it and smite steal it without ever jumping into the pit. It's 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 insane. I, there, I don't think there were I, a couple of videos where like Lee Sin or like Jax was doing that too, because just the way he jumps over the lip, it gives him just enough. Uh, Jax? How would you do that with Jax? Or not Jax. Um, Lee Sin, sorry. People who can jump the wards. But isn't Lee Sin more of sort of like a jump in, jump out super quick kind of thing? It's, I, I can't really describe it. It's just the way he jumps over the wall, it brings him close enough to... It's like a... Never mind. I, mm, Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, mm. wasn't, wasn't, there, there was a, wasn't there a champion that you could stand at the edge outside the Baron Pit and smite if you had vision? There was someone you could do that with I if you stood you right that. in the precise position. I think they fixed it. Uh, I don't know. It was a while ago. I forget. Anyway. I love that you can shoot Baron from outside with Tristana. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can. she's the only one you can auto-attack from, but yeah. Right. But we didn't really exactly see that coming into play. I'm just so excited for... Uh, I want to see... I just want to see... I've never seen Zack played at a level, you know higher than my own elo so i'm really excited to see what people can do with him he is now i know that people had concerns just to talk about zach for a bit again this is you know stemming from what discussion i'd seen on, on team liquid and you know general discussion forms and reddit people initially thought you know when he was on the pb that he was going to be pretty weak because he would do a, a fair amount of damage to himself because his his abilities are based on his own health but they're percent damage so no matter how much health you have you're still doing a fair chunk of your own health and I think that may have been because on the PBE originally his abilities were somewhat overtuned. I think his E was like a 12% health cut right. at one point. Now everything is down to 4%. And I mean, from what I've seen, the health cut is negligible, even if you're spamming your abilities, and especially if you're going to go around and pick up those blobs, which the other concern for a lot of people was that the blobs um, are really far away, and if they, you know, they pop up, but in a team fight, you're not going to go out of your way to go around picking up blobs. You're going to try to peel and kill people. Right. But, again, from what I've seen, yes, some of the blobs will end up out of your way. Some of them, I mean, it's somewhat random, but I've seen some of them land directly on top of them. And especially if he's jungling, like they, like they get sort of blocked off by the, you know, the, the, 
the wolf pit or the wraith pit, and they'll basically land right there, and he doesn't even have to worry, and he'll get healed up. And right. with a spirit visage, it's even more ridiculous. Yeah, and his uh, his death passive is absolutely hilarious. Like, you just <laughs> it's like a, a mini game. Once you kill him, to kill it all is the a lot blobs. of fun. I really enjoy it. There's actually like I love. It's not even fr- like. No, it's sometimes I find an Anivia egg frustrating. Because you can't always, you're not always in a good enough position to get to that egg, and you have to sit there and auto attack it, and it's, you know, like it's whatever. Uh, just something about killing those four little guys is just infinitely amusing to me. <laughs> it's cathartic. I can't, I can't even explain. It. And plus, I mean, it opens up some amazing strategies, which I'm, I'm so far from what I can see. I'll mention it once the, uh, once the countdown ends, but. Um, there's something that I mean I, I could potentially see, you know, maybe in a higher level game in the future. But uh, I mean, Zach has yet to be opened up to the LCS, and we'll see when that happens if if those kind of plays happen. Anyway, so let's talk a little bit about the team fight before uh, before Canada ends up going down. Um, I really, really like both teams' team fights. Like it, it's the same as last game. It's going to come down to execution. Um, Messiah with the, the Crescendo and Nerevar with the Ultimate on Biggle Buns. If they get to late game, if EA gets to late, late game, it's going to be terrifying. But it's going to be difficult to get there with Flash and Frozen Fire and Ravenite on those three champions just being able to just destroy team fights early on. Um, so I wanna, yeah, I, I was going to say, I want to say that I think, you know, EA had a decent late game comp last time. Yes. But this time, I mean, they do, but it seems as like, I mean, EA made their early and mid-game work as well. I would argue that EA's early and mid-game is a little bit weaker this time because they don't have that, you know, Yorick doesn't exactly dive into champions. And, right. you know, they have Vi instead of Elise, who, you know, somewhat serves the same purpose. But Elise sort of gives that, you know, she's got engage and disengage. And Zyral is essentially like, you're going all out, you're going all in, and you have to, you know, follow up pretty much right in melee range you can't be at, at at distance at all so it's a very very different early and mid game from ea and i wonder if that's going to work out for them yeah um and yorick doesn't have the poke that jace does no. and that's that's really going to be a a big disadvantage but they're replacing gasty's kha'zix with lux so it it's sort of power is being shifted around onto different people different players different champions um and i i, I mean i don't want to like keep repeating myself but it, it's execution. It's <laughs> that's what this game is going to come down no, to. Definitely. So I definitely agree. Anyway, what I was going to say about Zach before is, um, his oh. blobs once he dies, yeah, uh, for the passive they count as minions. So theoretically, you could tower dive really early on in the game. You know, bottom lane, say level three or four or something like that. Have him tank it. Have him tank it and die, oh. and then once one of those things has aggro, you get the top laner to teleport. And oh my God. the minion that is Zack becomes invincible oh for the duration of that teleport. That is so high level, it's not even funny. Well, but see, this, this is, you know, it, it's debatable whether it's actually viable, but, like, that's, I mean, it sounds like a good idea, no? Anyway. No, I, like, that's just, that's like, that, I could definitely see it. I want to see it, I want to see something like that happen. I think it'll be amazing if it does, but, you know, we'll see. Anyway, but uh, no teleport from uh, Google right now, so we're not definitely not going to see that in this game. But, I mean, again, Ravenite, like, his, Zach's tower diving ability is very, very strong. Even without, you know, invincible teleport minions, it's it's very, very strong. Yeah, so. <laughs> it is. I'm, I just really want to see this champion. You have no idea. Like, I've... I saw him and I was like, "This champion is ridiculous." I saw a champion spotlight. I was like, "Holy crap, this champion is bonkers!" And then, like, I saw him in a game. I was like, "He's so cool! Like, I, he's just so awesome." All right, and I have to, you know what? If we're talking, if we're going to talk about this, I'm, I'm especially, I'm, I'm waiting the week for the price to go down. But he was an insta buy for me as soon as I found out his name, because Riot actually, I was, I, I think I made a thread uh-huh. on the, on the general discussion forums at one point. Didn't get a whole bunch of, didn't get a whole bunch of, uh, of discussion. But uh, Riot, I expect uh, some compensation here. You stole, you stole my name. I named my son, son's name. I name I name my son. Well, no, my name that I picked for my son. I named him Zach. And you know what happens two months later? You come out with a champion named Zach. Coincidence? No. You clearly stole it from me. I I expect royalties. Clearly. I'm, I will be checking my mailbox daily. Right. And every single person who named their son Zach as yep. well. Yep. Yes. You have deep pockets, right? Right. <laughs> they, hey, don't 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 underestimate Riot's pockets. <laughs> anyway, just getting into the game right now. Onto the champion select screen once again. My favorite, favorite no, time on, of game. I'm not there yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm there. 
Calm down. Are no, you there? But, but the people can't see it yet. Can okay, they see go. it now? Go, go, go. All right. Steel Legion Lux, Undertaker. You don't see Undertaker Yorick very often. Neon Strike 5. Hmm. You never see Yorick anymore. <laughs> it's true. You know what? I'm going to have to give this one to... I gotta give this one to EA. Obviously. I love Glacial Malphite. Like, yeah. I love Glacial Malphite, but they just, overall, still, like, Neon Strike 5 is pretty awesome. Undertaker, it's just, like, sheer volume of skins as opposed to quality, I think. I think it's going to EA. Uh, Neon Strike Vi, that was, like, a super impulse buy for me, because it's just awesome. You bought it? Yeah, man. When have you ever played Vi? Uh, like, twice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Nicely done. No, there's definitely skins. I think I bought a... I think when they were they were eliminating some of the legacy skins, I bought the Scuba Gragas because it was super cheap, and I like played Gragas once. Mm. But whatever. Anyway, getting into the game now. We do see some pings coming down. They, it looks like Google just pings. Wants to spread <gasps> out. Pings. Oh no! Google wants to spread out. They want to make sure that they aren't going to get invaded on. I believe. I mean, I'm, I still don't know what Zach or like where he should start. I, he doesn't take mana, so he doesn't necessarily need the blue buff. I, I bet he's pretty good with a red buff start. Oh, we do see... Ooh, KT Flash running into the entire team. Oh, just barely able to dodge a light binding with a flash. KT Flash, I'm, uh, I guess, you know, he thought that, that uh, <coughs> excuse me, that EA wasn't going to be able to get there in time, but uh, he thought wrong, and that's going to be a flash that's blown pretty early on in the game. Yeah, and once again, we see EA with not really any level 1 CC. I mean, there's the light binding, there's the slow, I guess, from, from Yorick, but... No real hard CC. But then again, there's no real hard CC from Google either. Right. From, no, you know, I'm saying, so, so. so they couldn't catch KT. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, that's okay. Yeah, no, but they are going to hide out here. They're, they're being super sneaky, but there is a ward. Google put down a ward in this blue bush. And Ravenite is going to come back through, I think. They're still planning on doing this blue. Yeah, I'm almost... Uh, Ravenite, uh, Zach seems like one of those characters where you really could, you know, say, play with something like a Karthus and give up the blue buff. Mm -hmm. at level 1, because he really has almost no use for it at all oh, early on in the game. What? Are we see oh, we are seeing a lane swap. Look at that. Yarius and Tomato Orange, and there's how they're going to be dealing with Nerevar. Yeah, unfortunately, that means there's only going to be three members of Google's team at this blue buff. So, EA is going to walk right in and... They're just gonna they're gonna go super aggressive right now. Here it comes. Oh boy. Who's gonna get caught? Are they gonna be able to get out in time? The light find and catching Raven Are they gonna be able to get enough damage down on them in time? They are, and here come the blobs. The minigame <laughs> begins. And who's gonna get that final hit? First blood going down to Gasty. Picking off Raven Knight real early and getting that blue buff to Zyrul. Uh, yeah, that just worked out so poorly in, in Google's favor. And oh yep. Nerevar are going to te teleport right top. They had that planned out, definitely. Oh, and Nerevar, or uh, Yorick, rather, is a very good 1v2 champion. So this is actually just playing right into Google's hand. Well, or I mean, EA's this, hand, rather. Yeah, I was going to say, this is actually, you know, this, this works out, you know, okay for EA, but, I mean, it's going to sort of lower Nerevar's ability to shut down a top lane champion. It's essentially just going to turn into, uh, you know, somewhat of a farm lane. Well, the thing with Yorick is... We were saying earlier, it doesn't. You'd rather you don't really want. I mean, you don't really need a farmed Yorick. You kind of just want a Yorick for his ultimate, and that's why he's a good two v one champion or one v two champion rather. Just because he doesn't really need the farm. He just needs the levels. He needs to get through Frozen Fire, taking a whole bunch of damage bot lane, and yeah, I mean, an underfed or an under farmed Yorick is much better than under farmed Malphite. Yeah, but we'll just see sort of who gets the worst end of that two v one lane. Which of those top laners? I mean, Malphite, he's already sort of, he's warded off Frozen Fire. Now, this is why I believe well, Riot recently sort of uh, made a little bit of a, a buff to Towers. And that's because these uh, sort of 3v1 dives, once the level advantage gets, you know, high enough and the CS advantage gets high enough, have become increasingly common because there is essentially nothing the, the 1v2 laner can do against it. There's nowhere for him to go, and he's essentially pushed back. He's got very little CS. He's got very little power to him. He's been harassed to almost no health. And so that's, I mean, it's seeming as though that's the behavior that Riot doesn't exactly want occurring every single game. And we see both junglers going to the 2v1 tower. This is going to be really, really interesting to see how this plays out. Uh, Nerevar actually able to push the tower out, and Zyral not able to get the gank either. And, oh, Ravenite is switching down to this blue buff. He's going to grab that really quickly. There's nothing that Nerevar can do about it. Uh, and, yeah. They, oh, you do have to remember, though, that Riot did just buff turrets. Um, so these these 3v1 ganks may not be as safe as uh, as they used to be. 
Yeah, and as long as they can push out the turn enough, you really don't want to be taking too many tower hits with that increased damage. Raven Knight really wants to come over, really wants to come over the top here, like trying to just bounce and land on top of Nerevar. But Nerevar is at full health, and uh, I mean the minion waves being there, no, he definitely does not want to go for it yeah, at all. So cute. That's awesome. <laughs> It's so cute. It's awesome, man. It all is right. pretty cute. It so is yeah, cute. both jungles just you know resorting back to getting getting the farm. They they don't really they couldn't make a gank happen, and Nervar is just going to keep farming this up. He is out of health potions, but he's got plenty of mana potions left, so he's going to keep up that sustain. Bigel Buns and Messiah are going to take out this bottom tower very very soon. They've got it quite a bit lower than Tomato Orange and uh, Yarius have bottom or top rather. Yeah, if they can take out this turret faster than uh, Tomato Orange and Yaris can do it, then they can start to rotate to top and prevent the top turret from going down, giving that extra bit of gold early on and that extra, you know, tiny little bit of map advantage. And it looks as though this might be the final push. They might. There it goes. The tower is going to go down. First tower in favor of uh, EA. Yep, and Nerevar actually, you know, being Yorick, he does have enough damage and sustain to just be able to, if either Yarius or Tomato Orange get too close, uh, Nerevar can just jump, like, get up there, get in their face, poke a little bit, and then back off. Uh, Frozen Fire really doesn't have that luxury as Malphite. I mean, he's got the shield regeneration, but it's it, he doesn't actually have any health regen. No, but I mean, again, that's sort of that team fight presence, as long as Malphite can sort of at least get a little bit tanky, that ultimate, that unstoppable force is going to be absolutely crazy in any sort of team fight. Tomato Orange and Yaris really trying to pull down that they're really trying to take out the turret right now. They're, mm, they might be able to get it. No, it's not going to be enough. And they're actually, EA is going to be able to take out this dragon pretty quickly. Oh, wow. That is very early dragon. It is warded, though. Google does see this, and Zack is going to be coming down. Uh, we're going to see maybe this flyby smite seal that we were just talking about. And Zyrul, Big Ones, and Messiah, they're all going to get pretty low from this. They need to be careful. Hello? <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. Oh, the flash coming in. Messiah having to flash out, and oh, they just barely. Red team picking up that dragon really well done. Zyril trying to go in, but he might get caught here. Frozen Fire going to try and land that slow. Zyril's going to have to use that uh, Vault Breaker to get out, and he will escape here. The ward coming down. Frozen Fire being relentless, chasing him down. Zyril going to have to enter the jungle and just do a little bit of farming now to catch up. Yeah. That, I mean, that gambit almost, almost paid off, but uh, Google were really on top of that. I'm impressed. Yeah, I mean, it was warded just barely on this uh, the ramp edge right here, so Google was able to see it. And Nervar is level 6. He's now alone up top with Tomato Orange, so he needs to keep chugging those hell or mana potions. He's got one left so that he can stay in this lane a little longer, maybe save that tower. Oh, but Yaris is coming up. But we do see Biggle Buns and Messiah. They're coming up as well. They're going to be switching, I believe. So now, uh, yep. Nerevar is going to be going bot lane with uh, with Frozen Fire now. Yeah, I don't think. I mean, it, that turret essentially needs you know, another couple of auto attacks. Oh, looking at this Biggle Buns jumping right in and trying to get Tomato Orange away. They were thinking of maybe engaging on top of Yarius, but I guess it didn't happen. Looking as though uh, Biggle Buns and Messiah are really just wanting to protect that turret just a little bit longer so they can free farm and increase that uh, CS lead. That Actually, I was going to say, never mind, they do not have a CS lead. Biggle Buns and Messiah not like sacrificing CS to take down that turret. And, um,. I mean, for now, they're going to be behind in the AD carry race, but we'll see how that ends up for them. Yeah, well, I mean, what they effectively did was nullify... Well, actually, it was it was Google's choice, but... Oh, the invade going down. Ravenite getting caught by Zyro, but KT Flash is going to come in and try to protect him. Ravenite is actually going to be safe right now. The binding landing in. Ghasty. Oh, the huge fight going down. Frozen Fire getting in on Zyro. There's the light finding Ravenite getting ulted by Final Spark. He's actually going to go in. This, his passive is up, so he's... He's fairly safe right now. Nerevar and Gassi not going to be able to focus on these blobs right now. And uh, they are going to reform. He is going to escape with his life. Get the Gasty Ghost is going to die. And everyone's going to end up okay in that. Uh, Zyro, I was going to say, ending up being the only casualty from that fight. Sorry. Yeah, and Gasty was unable to, uh, wasn't quite confident enough to go back in once ulted by Nerevar. Um, so nothing really did come of that. And unfortunately... Uh, Zyral did fall trying to steal that blue, and KT Flash does now have it, and that's it's it's really annoying as a mid player having an assassin with blue buff. It's just so difficult to deal with. Yeah, I mean, even though you know Zed doesn't use any mana specifically, he does that. The energy regen is definitely used by that blue buff, um, and it is going to make a, a fair amount of difference, and, and especially for Zed, whose ability costs are fairly high, if I remember correctly. So he'll be able to spam them a lot more than he would have been able to normally. Yeah, and uh, I don't. No objectives are coming up right now. I, I think Google is just going to keep trying to push on this turret. Yari's getting a little bit low. Tomato Orange does have that a little bit of sustain from from Sona so that he can actually keep you know just dueling a little bit and, and making sure that they don't get too close. He just wants to keep keep up this farm, wants to try and catch up a little bit. But Tomato Orange does have that nice lead. 
So I'm not sure if Billy Bones is actually going to be able to do it right now. This tower might just go down to creeps. Oh, it's going to go down to tomato orange right now. Yeah, tomato orange to have that last auto attack in. The size is about half health, so they can't really engage right now. Getting a one last auto attack that charged up auto attack on the Biggle Buns, taking them down to about three quarters health. And so tomato orange and Yara is just going to keep farming up a little bit more. Then they might go back and pick up some items that they can get some good use out of, and they might rotate and try to take out the bottom turret after that. Yeah, um, unfortunately, because of that lane swap, Messiah and Bilgobons were a little bit lower on uh, on experience. So Tomato Orange and Yarius both having their ultimates while Messiah just getting his now. If he if he had it earlier, I, I'm I'm sure that Bilgobons could have could have more than likely killed at least one of them at the turret. Yeah, Nerevar and uh, Frozen Fire just sort of going at a bottom lane. Not really a whole lot to speak of there. And uh, Frozen Fire are gonna opt to head into the. Actually, I was going to say, he's going to head into the mid lane, it looks as though, to pick up the lane from uh, Gassy. Ooh, Ravenite getting bursted down quite a bit, and uh, he's going to have to leave. He's going to head over into his own jungle, and uh, Frozenfire wanted to make something happen in terms of a gank, but I guess uh, Ravenite a little bit too scared to make that happen. Or they were going to wait for KT Flash. Uh-huh. Oh, Frozenfire, we're going to see. Oh, Gassy's going to walk right into it. The, and the Flash isn't going to even make a difference. Oh, Gassy, oh, yep. you're Gassy done, buddy. Yeah, that's... And there's the death mark proc and KT Flash picking up that kill. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you should probably ward a little bit closer to you. Actually, he did. It looks as though, oh, you know what it was? Frozen Fire actually took an excellent path over the lane. He completely avoided all yes. the ward spots. He went all the way around. Yeah. Yep. And Zyro was trying to make a gank happen top, but unfortunately Messiah, before he could crescendo, got way too low. They couldn't actually dive it. And I think that they saw Zyrul go into the bush anyway, so Tomato Orange and Yarius were not fooled at all. Oh, and we do see Ravenite coming up. Might see another Zack gank up top. He's actually going to go clear Gollum. Yeah, Ravenite was there just, I think, for you know, sort of that moral or, you know, counter gank support. <laughs> hey guys, but I'm here. Yeah, I'm a big, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big slime guy. I'm going to come here and help you out. Don't worry. I'm going to go pick up my blood. I'm going to go and farm into the jungle. Is that what Zack sounds like? <laughs> yeah, Zack sounds like Stewie. So, um... <laughs> Oh man, Messiah dropping some wars around. They they want to make sure that they don't, in fact, get jumped by Ravenite. But Ravenite does. He has. He's got that jump. So he can actually. Oh, light finding actually hitting Ravenite, getting hit by every wow. single Lux ability constantly. I mean, it's not really going to affect his jungling so much. I'm actually surprised we're not seeing Ravenite traverse the jungle with his uh, elastic slingshot more often because he moves pretty quickly and the charge up time is not so long. He's instead using it to sort of help farm the jungle quickly. But, I mean, travel time, you can really bypass a lot of those jungle walls, which do increase his jungling speed. Yeah. Um, Bigglebuns and Messiah are trying to push down this top turret now. They want to get this down. Uh, Frozen Fire is up there, but Zyrul coming up to help. We do see Nerevar now alone bottom. I'm not sure. He's going to be able to hold that for now while, while the three of uh, Zyrul, Messiah, and Bigglebuns take out that top turret. But here's Dragon for, for Google. Yeah, and I mean, you got to wonder, is... Uh, I, I, you know, did they really? They must have had a time because they had, they had lost it right before. This is a second dragon now for Google, and I guess they sort of knew. All right, well, I guess we're gonna give up, you know, this dragon for a turret. But since it was a turret that was already, you know, somewhat low anyway, I'm not so sure that was a good trade. Yeah, I mean, they do want that map control. They're still playing that, that sort of control game that they've they've been playing. The side just staying there, taking a bunch of beating from Frozen Fire. Meanwhile, Ravenite, Tomato Orange, and Yara oh. is taking down this top turret, but Ravenite getting really low. Yeah, Nerevar is looking to take out Ravenite 1 versus 3 on his own, and in comes Gassy to pick oh. up. There's the ultimate going down, the and now we got to play. The, here we go, Blobs. Are they going to be able to take him out in time? Gassy going to try to get those auto attacks off. Nerevar, it looks as though one might survive. Wow. No, Nerevar gets that auto attack in right at the end. He's got his ultimate on, and now the two of them are going to take on it, what was once a 3v2 turned into a 3v3, thanks to Nerevar's ultimate. And Nerevar is going to try to get in there. Tomato Orange eating up a lot of damage. Yari is getting slowed by the ghouls. <laughs> and look at the, <laughs> the light finding, barely missing. Gasty now needs to turn around. He is very, very low. Nerevar can't do anything to stop it. Gasty getting in there. There's the ultimate, and Gasty is going to go oh. down. Yarius now, and Nerevar does go down. Frozen Fire going to come in, though, to save Yarius' life. Nerevar is going to for sure die to this Malphite, and uh, there's not a whole lot that uh, he's going to be able to do about that since he's already used his ultimate, despite all the healing he gets. Oh, Nerevar! Oh, 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 almost actually got away. Frozen Fire did have his ultimate but didn't actually opt to use it. He, it was close. He, he may have wanted to use it just for a little bit of security. But meanwhile, top lane, Big Open Zyro and Messiah still pushing this top tower and now have it down halfway. And that, that is one thing you have to worry or remember about ganking a Yorick is it's, he's not one guy. He, he is two. So 
it, it changes a, a 3v1 into a, a 3v2 and even, you know, 3v3 because Gasty came down. And, yeah, it was actually a 2v2 trade, so it really was not that terrible for EA. No, actually, I mean, and uh, EA really, they're going to try and sort of make this happen. They've done so much damage to the turret already. They want to try to make this top turret go down. And, I mean, Tomato Orange there, but now in comes KT Flash, Raven Knight from the bottom, and this is going to be probably a triple kill going down here. Big Obon's going to explode to the death mark. Not even, and Zyro going to go down now. And this, I mean... Google really, really took advantage of that tenacity of EA to try to take out that top turn. And, uh, I mean, that's, like, they're capitalizing on those mistakes big time. Yeah, EA being way too aggressive, pushing way too far without any, any ward coverage at all. They've got, got this Wraith Bush warded, but they've got, they were very, very deep into uh, Google's territory. That was really not a smart move to push that far without any vision. And, I mean, they, they were all very squishy. They hadn't bought in quite a while. So I, it was just minor lapse of judgment, I guess. Yep, so now we're going to see, I mean, what is EA going to be able to do to come back from this? They're now at about a 3.5k gold deficit, and uh, I mean, they've sort of this, the lane swapping has sort of ended, the, the laning phase is all but over right now, and so now we're going to see, you know, is Big Ol' Bun strong enough to actually start team fighting with the, uh, the AD he has? Is Nerevar going to be able to start busting his ult on Biggle Buns and make those strong team fights happen. Yeah, they do want to stall as long as possible so that Biggle Buns can keep getting the damage that he needs so that, I mean, he's actually useful with Nerevar. So, I mean, EA's team fight Tamino is taking a whole bunch of damage from that final spark. And Nerevar is, you know, going to be very annoying. He does have that mana immune. Zyro will jump Oh, Zyro, that's, yeah, I was going to say, going right in on top and now getting counter-engaged from the Zac. Here it comes. There's the ultimate going down on Zyro and just, just barely surviving the Yorick ult on top of him, but he survived anyway. And now... The Nerevar are going to try and turn this around. Zyrul getting ulted, and they're going to try to make something happen here. But Frozen Fire getting ulted by Lulu, and they're all going to survive with around half health each. And uh, nobody, nobody dies in that team fight. Frozen Fire still has his ultimate, so EA does need to be careful. They have zero ultimates up at all. KT Flash coming in on Biggle Buns needs to be really careful because Frozen Fire oh, is there's going to the on this. Deathmark being put on top of Biggle Buns, but is not able to continue his engage. So much damage. Like, again, it's just so deceptive. Yeah, like, it really where did is. He, where did his health go? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Frozen Fire, hey, he wants he wants to engage on this. Big Buns is so low. He's really careful. He does have that uh, life steal and just general uh, sustain from Sona. But oh my gosh, I'm not. I really think Google could hard engage a little bit more. I don't know. It's really iffy because Frozen Fire, yes, you know, he could have sort of tried to engage on the turret, but I mean, again. Biggle Buns does have cleanse and flash up, so if that alt and, you know, a little bit of combo from Malphite didn't, you know, finish him off, then Biggle Buns would have gotten out and Frozen Fire essentially would have sacrificed himself for nothing because the whole rest of EA was standing right on top of the turret. Yeah, Biggle Buns getting this huge wave top, and if you'll notice, he actually has gotten ahead of Tomato Orange on farm. Tomato Orange is now going to clear this bot lane, so we're going to stay about the same, uh, same difference in farm. But, yeah, the Tristana, it, see, the thing with Caitlyn is, if you don't get ahead of a Tristana really early and take advantage of it a lot, it's going to be really, really difficult late game just because of Tristana's just sh whole kit. She's very, very good late game, where Caitlyn doesn't quite fill it as well. So yeah. it's it's really going to come down to the ADs, I think, this game. Yeah, well, I mean, well, I mean, but I mean, that's essentially that's sort of one thing that for Google at least, Frozen Fire is very, very good at. I'm not Frozen Fire, Malphite in general is very, very good at is shutting down an AD carry. But now, I mean, they've got Nerevar, so. EA essentially has two AD carries, as long as you sort of try and split them up and get, you know, the proper damage off on the proper targets. You know, all Beagle Buns needs to do is farm up enough, get ulted, and they may just auto-attack their way to team fights. Yeah, Beagle Buns is just being so ballsy right now, really just, he's getting as much farm as he can, but there's four members of Google right there that want his head, and froze, now five members, and Frozen Fire definitely can engage on that very, very hard. I believe Dragon is going to be coming up soon, and that's going to be another big fight. EA really wants to get it, they've, they've missed every dragon so far they, they completely messed up the first try and we're not there at all for the second one they just want some map control they want to get this over oh the lucent singularity is being thrown down so much gasty with that blue buff can just keep throwing it out yeah i'm wondering like which of these teams does, does either team really want a team fight right now i'm not so sure like i was thinking i mean yeah ea is a little bit weaker right now but i i almost wonder you know with the help of nerevar turning those team fights into a 6v5 they may actually be able to win a team fight despite you know the Pretty large gold disparity right now. It's really going to come down to Frozen Fire and Ravenite and KT Flash trying to kill Bilgo Buns before Nerevar can ult it. And if, if that happens, then the fight is won for Google. That, that's just all she wrote. Dragon did just come up right now. Frozen Fire getting caught by that, uh, that Light Binding, but still neither team. KT Flash is back in the base. 
So they can't really fight, or Google can't fight at all right now, and EA doesn't know that. They're just going to keep you know, doing what they're doing. They just want to farm and catch up. No, and they don't have the same poke comp as last time, so they can't really punish Google for just sitting back and not letting them try to engage on that dragon. So eventually, you know, at some point, one of these teams is either going to disengage in the mid or they're going to go for dragon, and then we're going to see something big happen. Oh, Big Buzz needs to be careful right there. The light binding grab. Oh, Rayfine right actually jumping in from way far away, but Gasty going to be able to be flashing out. And look at that, the ult going down on KT Flash. He wants to get his mark off, and there's the the final spark just barely missing the side. Nerevar is probably going to die to that death mark. No, gets healed up, and it's not going to be there. It's an ultimate going down on top of Zyral, and everybody actually surviving that fight despite the Yorick ultimate going down on top of EA. EA was not able to do very much at all in that fight, and so this is going to be a dragon, a third dragon in favor of Google. Yeah, Nerevar dropping that ultimate on Big Ones very late. It was only at the end of the fight. Actually, Minion's taking out that top turret, so all that damage uh, done by, by EA really paid off. Zyral looking to me. Nope, nope, he's just going to go home. He doesn't want to fly. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, that's, you know, although, I mean, like, sacrificing oneself for, you know, a thousand team-wide gold probably would work, but, I mean, it's, you got to be you know, really, really on top of that smite. Yeah, absolutely. And the, the map control, I mean, three towers now for, for EA, but they are still down about 4,000 gold. Uh, it's not at all insurmountable, but I, one thing I want to point out is during that whole mid skirmish, or the mid, you know, dance, yep. Biggle Buns was, like, EA was letting Biggle Buns get all the farm. Gasty was not contesting for it. They're just getting as much money on Tristana as possible. And that's really, really smart play. They want to get Tristana to that late game as fast as they can. Yeah, I mean, they're stalling it out, but, I mean, the longer they stall, the more Google's pulling ahead. So you got to wonder, is that late game Tristana going to be worth it? And I think this might be another one of those cases where they're really overvaluing what Biggle Buns is going to be able to do. And, you know, Google may look to end the game well before that critical mass happens. Well, we're just going to have to see, because as soon as Biggle Buns has the Infinity Edge, it's going to be scary, especially with a second Tristana coming out. Uh, and Nerevar really does need to make sure that the the ultimate does go on the Biggle Buns early. And mm. if that happens, then it's going to be it's going to be bad news bears. Yeah, I was going to say I was thinking that might have looked like a turret there for uh, for EA, but instead opting, you know, they're still worried about that ultimate from Frozen Fire, which is just coming off a of cooldown right now. And uh, they really they want to try and poke at this turret, they want to try and take it down, but they're still a little too afraid from that, you know, that Google engage. Yeah, and Google also does have quite a bit of wave clear, so they can't. EA really can't completely force the turret. They're just going to keep trying, keep poking. But they're grouping up right there. Frozen Fire may look to ult that. Oh, no, man. They're just looking. There is the... Oh, that final spark chunking Tomato Orange and Yaris. KT Flash is barely avoiding that as being a little bit too far away. But they did a whole lot of damage to that turret. And now looking... Gasty looking to back because he's almost out of mana. I was thinking if they stuck around now, considering half the team is fairly low, they may be able just to poke that turret down and then go back. Yeah, but Gassy really does need some mana. He does need that poke. That is really what's keeping uh, EA in this right now. They're, they're just able to you know, stay safe enough while Big Buns can farm up uh, in the group. And Nerevar actually building up that Spirit Visage. He's going to get that extra healing. He wants to stay, you know, alive. Uh, or is that... Oh, you don't build mm -hmm. Spirit Visage out of Null Magic anymore. You build it out of uh, Negatron. Yep. Hmm. Oh, so Ra Ravenite not building the uh, Spirit Visage? Is that what you're saying? Or? No, Ravenite... No. No. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> anyway, anyway, now it looks actually it looks like Google or might be able to turn this around and take the turret themselves. Yaris trying to sort of oh the final spark going out, frozen fire. No, no. no. <sighs> that crescendo. crescendo. I was gonna say, had that crescendo hit, that could have been a game changing ultimate right there, but everyone was able to get out of the way in time. They were fighting under that turret, taking a little bit too much damage from that final spark. Had Messiah hit that crescendo. That would have been absolutely huge for EA. Yeah, so much damage being blasted out by Gasty, and now Big Buns is going to swing top, get this farm, while Ravenite comes bottom, clears out this, this bottom lane, does not want, you know, uh, Dyrul to push and minions to go un unattended. Gasty, just keep on farming. It's now, I mean, Big Ones now has a slight lead in, in CS uh, on, on Tomato Orange, but he's still 800 gold behind. Yeah, but I mean, essentially you're talking about Tristana versus Caitlyn late game. So, right. you know, being 800 gold behind in, you know, once you once she hits level 18 no longer matters. So it's just essentially getting 
getting big moments to that point in the game where the attack range does extend and had you know she has uh, an attack steroid whereas Caitlyn's is very very weak yeah and big ones is now getting a much closer to that infinity he's gonna grow go home grab that pickaxe he's gonna get some more damage uh, he's now yep there's a the pickaxe right there I'm not sure if he can get anything else I don't think he can but I, I I'm, I'm just watching I'm watching Tristana heavily because I want to see the timing I want to see when EA really forces that fight because that that's going to be their key timing is once Tristana has Infinity Edge. This is, I mean, this is essentially turning into an Aram Gasty getting uh, hit by that trap. Raven Knight looking as though he may want to try and engage on that, but no, definitely not happening there. And I'm like, this is, it's like an Aram, but you're allowed to back. Right. <laughs> that's that's what's essentially happening. We've been in mid for you know eight minutes now, I think. They're just back and forth in mid. Neither tower has gone down. Both teams very very afraid to engage, and I mean for very good reason because. Again, Google almost threw their lead completely with that tower dive earlier. Yeah, Nerevar just being a huge nuisance up there. Oh, getting crit very hard. He needs some more armor, to be honest, against Tomato Orange. He really doesn't have, he doesn't have any armor items at all. Uh, oh, the EA is paying down onto Raven Knight. They know he's there. They don't want to get caught off guard. Oh, here comes the engagement. Oh, Raven the Knight. jump in. Raven Knight getting in on top of Gas. Gas getting caught, but flashing over. There's the let's bounce, and there's the disengage from Crescendo. They're going to try and turn this around, and look at how deep Zyral is into enemy territory. He is able to flash out, surprisingly enough, And but, I mean... I, oh, there we go. Nerevar actually being able to pick up Raven Knight. I was going to say, that's like... I honestly shocked because everybody survived that considering how deep they ran. Oh, there's the light binding landing on Frozen Fire, eating a whole bunch of damage. And this finally, finally might mean a tower for EA if they can just keep the rest of Google off that tower long enough. Yep, uh, KT Flash does still have death marks, so Bigelmons does need to be a little bit careful. Oh, Frozen Fire getting Ooh, Frozen Fire off. getting auto attack. There's the final spark. It's just oh. not enough damage, but it's going to push them off, and that is going to be a finally, finally, finally the mid siege ending and EA taking that tower. Yep, Zyro really going very, very deep in that fight, as you mentioned. He he distracted the entire Google team while uh, while Raven Knight was just getting pummeled, and then you know EA had to play the the blob mini game while. Uh, <laughs> while Zyro was able to flash out. And well, and I'm, I'm forever going to think of it as such. That's, that's what it is. Is there like a game that we can actually, like it's just the Blob minigame? The blob. Actual, oh, they're actually going to get a dragon from this. So that's actually, the timing of that ended up being really, really good. And so now Google, KT Flash going to try and get in and try to make something happen. But I don't think he's going to be able to distract four players from this enough. There we go. KT Flash getting exhausted. Perfect time. Oh, that final spark just barely missing. But I think KT Flash is going to go down anyway. KT Flash is going down. Oh, oh but wow. able to take out two players before that happens. Um, the entire EA team just getting caught out and baited by KT Flash. Wow, that was actually a four for for one fight while EA grabbing the dragon. That was really, really, really well played. KT Flash just barely... I was surprised he was actually able to take two people down. Yeah, thanks for taking over while I coughed up a lung. You're welcome. Really appreciate it. You're welcome. That's what I'm here for. Oh, it looks like Frozen Fire and Tomato Orange might be looking to go for Baron now. This... This is a be dangerous. Play. This is going to take them a very long time to take down this Baron. They're only level 13, 14. Raven Knight's level 12. I mean, Frozen, Knight, Frozen Fire can tank it for a little while, but Tomato Orange just doesn't have the damage to take it out in any sort of speed yet. And if they don't take it out fast enough, the whole of EA is going to get up there in oh, time. Oh, a teleport. Teleport, oh, they're coming goodness. on this ward. They know it's here. Yeah, I was going to say, this is very, very dangerous. Tomato Orange, they're getting very, very close to taking out this Google Buns trying to get in on top of Frozen Fire. Deal enough damage to him. They are able to pick up the dragon. There's the immediate engage. Frozen Fire is going to go. One more attack. Bigelbun takes him as Raven Knight now. Zyro and Nerevar getting in there. Bigelbun's actually having to get out. He was in danger going down. There's the double kill. Crescendo going down. Tomato Orange cleansing that and flashing over the wall. And, uh, I mean, overall, they lost two people for a Baron. That is 100% worth it, but they may lose a turret here as well. Yeah, EA actually taking a whole bunch of damage trying to pursue them, and Bigelman's doing a really good job of jumping over the wall and still getting uh, Ravenite with, with the uh, just over the all the over the wall shots. But unfortunately, it was it was Bigelbuns versus the world uh, and that Baron, and they just could not grab it. Oh, Yari's getting really low. Oh, and snipe. snipe! Amazing shot. I was wondering if that was going to happen because Gasty did in fact miss that uh, light finding, but it was able to pick it up with final spark. So there's another kill. And uh, so now, I mean, the Baron, I mean, Tomato Orange and KT Flash do still have it, so I mean, it's still probably worth it for uh, for Google to have done that. But they did lose three kills and a turret for it, so the you know the the gap in terms of that risk is definitely being extended a little bit. Yeah, and EA oh. has now narrowed the gap to a little less than three thousand gold. Zyro, they know he's here. He needs to get out. That's not no, he's gonna go. Well. He's fine. He's gone. Oh, KT Flash trying to <laughs> jump after him with that shadow, but yeah, EA is just gonna go buy up. Okay, uh, Bigelmons now has that Infinity Edge. We are going to see a scary Tristana now.
Yep, definitely so. And, uh, I mean, it's in, in terms of the gold from the AD carries, we're seeing, I, again, Tomato Orange is still ahead, but only by a little bit. And again, as you know, as Biggle Buns gains levels and keeps getting stronger, it's you know that tiny little bit of gold advantage that uh, you know the Caitlyn Tomato Orange does have is no longer going to matter. Yeah, EA just barely being able to hold on to this tower up until now. I'm not sure if they're going to be able to keep it. And oh well, Tomato Orange is top, and Biggle Buns is is mid, so he's actually going to be able to, to hold this while Gasty grabs his blue and Frozen Fire just hanging out bottom still. Yeah, I think in the end, it, it might just come down to the positioning of Biggle Buns. And I mean, we've seen him playing games before. His positioning is usually very, very good as an AD carry in team fights. So as long as he can sort of avoid being shut down immediately by, you know, the Zed and Malphite dives, he might actually be able to, you know, carry his team once he hits that critical mass. We might see, you know, Tristana in one of these HGLs finally carry a game. Yeah, and that, that really is what it's going to be is surviving Frozen Fire and KT Flash. And that's and that's why Nerevar is going to be so critical in these fights. If he can get that ultimate down before Biggle Buns dies, then it's it's still gonna be it's gonna be Frozen Fire and KT Flash blowing their ultimates trying to kill Biggle Buns, but Biggle Buns still being alive. Yeah, uh, they're probably gonna lose a tower here because oh I was gonna say Gasty, I thought he was gonna go farm that wave, but it's Ravenite wants decided to, to go help out. But yeah, Ravenite does want to jump. He really wants to make something happen, but diving on that turret, still a little bit dangerous. I mean, despite the fact that a couple players do still have Baron buff, um, and that turret is only a couple auto attacks away from going down. Tower diving, not exactly the safest thing to do right now. Yeah, we do see five members of EA in this mid lane while Ravenite goes bottom, he's gonna go push this lane and it's it's Top lane is also pushing, so EA really needs to make something happen. They either need to engage or they need to back off. Yarius getting hit by that Lucent Singularity and Light Binding. But, okay, it looks like EA may decide to push out mid instead of clearing out their lanes. You know, they do know that Ravenite is bottom lane, so the, oh, there's the Flash and Light Binding. Oh, and I was going to say, Zgasti had already sort of assumed that that uh, Light Binding was going to hit Tomato Orange. It was already to drop his combo completely. So a wasted Flash from Gasty. Well, I guess he did sort of force the Flash from Tomato Orange, but... Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's... That was it's, cute. What was cute? No, 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 no. Oh, um, you, oh, you're making fun of me. I see. I am. EA I see now has to disengage. Okay. Oh, the engage Ravenite landing the stun on the entire team and bouncing on top of the nuke as much damage as he can. Frozen Fire going KT Flash, picking up his first kill. This is going to be an absolute routing in favor of Google. Yeah, Nerevar had used his ultimate on himself. Big Oldman's getting shot out. And the rest of EA's team falling. This might be an inhibitor right here. There's nothing that EA could really do about that. They were way too overextended with no cooldowns. I uh, Ravenite for MVP on that engage. Absolutely fantastic. Ridiculous. And that just shows the power. Like, he jumped from so far away and was able to use his Let's Bounce. That's, uh, you know, I think a one-second stun on the elastic, the, uh, elastic slingshot. And then the Let's Bounce is a knock-up as well, so that's a huge amount of CC on the entire enemy team, allowing Frozen Fire to catch up and land an unstoppable force, and just they decimated the whole of EA. Yeah, and now EA has extended their gold lead to about 8,000. Oh, Ravenite going in again on top of Biggle Buns, forcing the jump out, and look at how strong that is, that engage, like Biggle Buns getting chunked down to about half health before he can... The Shirelli is being popped, they're going to have to try and get out. Look at that, look at that jump. Oh my god, that I was told ridiculous. You, man. you have to, and like... I, you have to essentially try and knock him out of that jump charge up before he can get it off. And you don't have a whole lot of time to do that because he's got, he, like, the range on that. It's such a good escape. It charges up so fast, too. That, okay. Yeah. All right. That was insane. <laughs> um, yeah, so now an 8,000 gold lead and an inhibitor for Google. This is looking a bit grim for EA. Yeah, I mean, all EA can do right now is try to, you know, lessen the damage by picking up a little bit of gold in that dragon. But, I mean, they're behind by quite a bit right now. KT Flash actually getting caught by Gasty. He, he's going to try and turn it around to Gasty. He's probably going to explode to the death mark. Oh, oh well, great Zyrule. block by Zyrule. Wow. That was really, Ooh. really close. That shield and the block from Zyro, like, just barely saving Gasty's life, almost really paid for trying to engage on KT Flash. Oh, Gasty, what are you doing? He's... Oh, boy. Oh, boy, Ravenite. Go. Go, Ravenite. Go, Ravenite. Oh, oh, oh my God. He got the kill. He got the kill. <laughs> Where? Where did she die? Did she die in, <laughs> in the fountain? She, she disappeared from the map. Am I wrong? Like, well, I her skull is on the fountain, but her body is not there. <laughs> That's ridiculous. The oh shot my god! Across the map, that I've never seen that. And like, and it's not even like that. The shot animation is slow, where you see sometimes like with a snowball, like a new new snowball flying across the map. That Caitlyn like attack animation is fast as hell. Killed her instantly. Oh that my was, god! That was hilarious. Okay, 
Lesson right there, Gasty. Don't teleport where they can easily find you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and I thought, I was like, oh my god, Ravenite, Ravenite just auto attacked. Oh no, they got away. Oh no, they didn't. I was like, yeah. had to, you know, flip my opinion twice in two seconds. So. Right, well, that's, that's another <laughs> tower for, uh, for Google right there. No contention at all. So yeah, so now Google in firm control right now, and there's EA is still really hoping that uh, that this Bigglebones Tristana is going to be able to turn around and carry them. Yeah, but I mean, again, I think this is I don't know. Can we call it the HGL curse yet? Uh, no. I is it because use. curse is in HGL? No, they're not. <laughs> not, not anymore. Yeah, not anymore. Oh. Uh, but yeah, Nerva really needs to ultimate. Or use his ultimate on Bigglebones. He used it on himself in that last fight, and that, it's like, what are you gonna do? You're sure you're tanky and annoying, but Bigglebones is really the damage. Oh, oh the engaged Rosenfire getting in on top landing. Three people gassing and Bigglebones. Bigglebones actually getting ulted this time, but the only person he's able to get into attack range uh, from is Rosenfire, who's probably not gonna die at this point. They're getting exhaust off on KT Flash, who is gonna go down. This is exactly the team fight they need. Ravenite gonna try and take out Gassy, who is exhausted. Gassy needs to run a little bit further. Ravenite, and now the minigame begins. They gotta take out those slimes. Oh, God. And Tomato Orange getting all these attacks off. Rosenfire is still alive, and now look at them. They're all on the retreat here. The all, uh, I was gonna say, a Piltover Peacemaker able to pick up the shutdown on top of Bigel Buns, and I'm honestly really surprised they were able to turn that around because it, it was looking good for EA for a minute there. Like, yeah, Big, it, Bigel Buns getting a lot of those, you know, double AD auto attacks off. Yeah, it was quite a good fight, but Tomato Orange able to sit in back while uh, while Zyral dove him, but still able to stay alive. Raven taking a lot of damage from this Baron, but yeah, that Zack passive on the death really makes team fights quite interesting because it's okay. What do we do? Do we try and finish him off, or do we switch to someone else while he's incapacitated because he's well, still alive? It's essentially the same decision you have to make, you know, in terms of Anivia. Do you right. want to focus an Anivia egg who's not going to be doing anything for you know four or five seconds, or do you want to try to focus on the rest of the team and potentially allow Anivia to survive? So again, same sort of idea, slightly different mechanic. <laughs> yeah, that's... Man, Zach is ridiculous. That's He's, awesome. I, I told you, man, it's going to be Insta-Buy for me. I just got to wait for that price to come down. Insta-Buy once, say. you know... Yeah, in, Insta-Buy <laughs> once a week. Now. In the future. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. All right, so now EA completely on the back. 10,000 gold almost. It's, it's about 9,000 right now. It's... Good math. Thank you. I can count. <laughs> uh, but EA just needs to... I, I don't know what they need to do because that was really the fight they wanted right there. Aside from, I mean, Big Buns getting hit by both Big Buns and Gassy getting hit by Unstoppable Force, they, that was really exactly what they wanted. Oh, Gasty grabbing that blue buff with the with the final spark. Them fancy final sparks. So oh, now yeah. that cooldown will be up again in ten seconds. <laughs> you don't maybe sound I'm, bitter at all. Maybe over exaggerating just a little bit, but <laughs> anyway. So looking as though they're going to start the methodical push. They've got a Baron buff. They're going to just start the slow push into top lane. And, I mean, considering the gold advantage and the ability of Rosenvar to really dive on top, he can he can probably dive the turret right now, and there's not going to be a whole lot that uh, EA is going to be able to do about it. I think they're going to probably play it safer. They're not going to dive the turret. But, um, I mean, I think they could. Yeah, I think Raven Knight is going to do exactly that. He is about to start his jump right now. Here it goes. Oh, there's the jump, landing on top of Nerva, and there you go, the Unstoppable Force, that combo, and that's a really, very good crescendo, but it's not going to be enough, and again, EA just absolutely exploding to everybody, Tomato Orange, and KT Flash picking up a whole bunch of kills, Raven Knight getting that final kill on Bill Buns, and this does look as though it's going to be the game, they are going to be able to pick up Gasty, the double kill, and there it is, all the kills going to Tomato Orange and KT Flash, the ace, and that is going to be game two, I think, the GG's going out, but... No surrender vote yet, so I'm actually kind of wondering, are they going to try and wait it out? There's about 30 seconds in time. Are they going to be able to take out these turrets? Yeah, they, they've got they've got some this, this is the game, right? Yes, yes. This will, Okay, this will is very much the game. All right, so yeah. game two. Game two actually taken out. So now it is 1-1. Google has managed to tie it up. Who is going to take down game three to face Amazon in the finals? Only time will tell. That team fight was incredibly hectic. That was absurd. The Zack gamble paid off, in my opinion. I don't think I really. I I think it just comes down to underestimating the disruption ability of Zack. Like he, you know, that little knock up, you know, jump stun ability is enough for Frozen Fire to land all his abilities too. It's really fantastic. Yeah, that was absurd. All right, well, that was game two. It is now one one. Stay tuned, and we will be back for the final game. This will be all the marbles.